Uh, welcome to the Cordy's video viewing for the uh, auction that will close next Monday, that is the uh, the 12th of April. Uh, some 700 plus lots in this, another fabulous auction. Um, again, the room is absolutely full. Um, we had a short week uh, getting this one together uh, following Easter. So the team have done a fantastic job getting the other lot down and out and then getting this set up. Uh, just a quick overview of the room. You'll see the, uh, the longest ladder in Mount Eden. Fabulous mirror. Furniture, art, jewellery. Another mirror. Great art deco uh, sideboard, cocktail sideboard. Other art, etc. Yeah, the room is full. So starting over here, uh, I'd say Art Deco inspired, but probably uh, 80s designed quality leather plywood chairs. Absolute uh, designer set. They are really heavy. The quality is good. Fabulous big uh, uh, painting. Great uh, cloud going on. The 19th century Victorian, maybe even earlier. Um, Equitant engraving. The Mirage. Watercolour, recognised artist. Uh, Basil Bradley is in all the uh, art reference material. Other good art included. Musical instruments. Maybe more decorative now, but I'm sure still functional. Yeah, this is the sideboard. I do like it. Great plate, plate glass shelf. Now that door revolves. Uh, further box lots and other bits all uh, through the back there. Other art. Sideboards, chimney pots. Quality uh, Remu little side cabinets. And in behind, all these good decorative pieces, including the regulator clock. Uh, colonial wardrobe, two door. Uh, enclosed, uh, there's two drawers enclosed down below, but a good original piece. Yep, do like that. Uh, 281, Andrew van der Putten. It's an early um, salt glazed jug, good example. Yeah, you can see all the art and box lots uh, showing through here. Russell Hollings, fine painter, very good artist. Uh, Alison Pickmere, little bellows there, stoke the fire. Another regulator wall clock. Uh, ironing board step ladder. Oh, a good piece here too. Oak, in that Georgian style with the tapestry top. Yeah leather um, sort of gentleman's um, desk chair, Edwardian Sheraton Revival um, revolving bookcase, a hand knotted probably Pakistan rug. Yeah, I do like this one too, the uh, little two-door cupboard. For the, uh, the smaller apartment. The carving is uh, yeah, particularly good, and the hinges playing that sort of semi-gothic uh, antique English large big kimono box lots there further clocks obviously a good lot of clocks through blue Danube a little inlaid uh, bookcase bureau yeah dinner sets quite a good range of uh, dinner sets in this auction too a uh, Royal Dalton figurines looks like Limoges maybe Shelley and Royal Albert Another good lot of Dalton here. Carlton up the top. Other German figurines. Uh, the embroidery is uh, certainly 19th century. Other good uh, ship studies, other aquatint engravings. That's well painted. Camphor chest. Another good little cupboard. Bedside cupboards, tables, chairs. Uh, colonial. Um, mirror back dresser it's got quite a um, thick dark um, polish to it it's almost like a paint finish but i think it's just a heavy um, varnish lot number 625 persian rug hand knotted that fine bote motif uh, cut crystal the stuart webb corbett colored glasses uh, the partridges are la leek lot number 376 
these glasses, just looked at them before, they are Waterford, Waterford glasses there. Great shape, number 372. Another Murano, probably Stuart. They look Waterford too, yes. Four of them, number 363. Old Temple Bell. Maybe a Sitar. An interesting Colonial Plains, etc. Big Bowie knives, marbles. Other artifacts and things. Victorian mahogany dressing table. Uh, Shunga art, Japanese art. Uh, yeah, colonial chest of drawers, not a bad example. A couple of different handles to that. Um, and in the corner there is a very good New Zealand colonial Rimu mirror back sideboard. Do like that. Oh, and the piece in front. They've hidden it. That's a, uh, a fine uh, mottled cowry um, wall shelf. Now the piece on top is from something else, but uh, it's a very fine example of mottled cowrie. Uh, silver plate, silver, clocks, barometers, barograph, oriental, cabinets of full, carvings, clissonne, imari, cutane, New Zealand studio pottery, etc. Uh, fine pottery, porcelain uh, down below. Uh, yes, the jewellery. Uh, a good amount of jewellery, not maybe as much as some weeks, but uh, still a good showing of rings there. A gold and diamond. Uh, tennis bracelets, uh, gold, 14 carat, uh, but CZ stones, cubic zirconia. There's a gold bracelet. Looks like an animal tooth and gold pendant. Another silver. A bangles. A ID bracelet there, etc. Necklaces. Watches. Stopwatch. Wristwatches. Long jeans. Uh, further costume jewellery. And uh, carry gum. Good German clock. Chanel number five. I uh, use the piano ladies. London Brady seven. Looks like coral and uh, fossilized wood. Yeah, further crystal, glassware. Or Gary Nash on the top shelf. Local home there, another lot number 238. Good piece. Some tang pottery in that Sansai glaze. Um, not tang period, of course. A very good bookcase, tall bookcase, uh, an oak or elm, do like the scale of it. Um, it's been sitting here for a few weeks, we have the, uh, the fittings for the shelves now, so the shelves have been uh, included. Uh, abalone inlaid uh, dressing table, low dressing table. This pair of Art Deco chairs, here further art. Prints, original paintings. Good big mirror. Yeah, an interesting piece. I think that might be is it hand drawn. I'm not sure. Number one five four. Uh, every item does have a uh, illustration in the catalogue. So have a look online. Uh, bidding has started. George Chance photo, uh, and we'll continue over the weekend. Another religious uh, 19th century embroidery, uh, with the auction closing from 6:30 on Monday, the uh, the 12th uh, of April. Uh, this is the ladder I was talking about. I think I can say the longest ladder in Mount Eden. Uh, it tapers as it goes up. Fabulous old wooden piece. Uh, if it's too large, well, yes, you could cut it down. I don't know if that's a good thing to do, but you could. Uh, gilt framed uh, parlor sofa. Uh, the old leather cushions. Beautiful soft feel for them. I think they're Japanese. Here, yeah, the uh, seagrass cane couch. Lovely uh, oriental pale timber sideboard. Birds are metal and carved wood. The lamps are rather stylish, as is the mirror. Yeah, Persian rugs running all the way through. So well worth coming down and having a look. That's really the best way to, uh, to see this auction and to uh, get the feel of what's here. But if you can't and uh, you're not quite sure what you're looking at, um, request some more photos, condition report, we can do that for you as well. So the auction's online now, bidding has started, um, and it closes Monday the 12th from 6.30pm. We close uh, 10 lots uh, every two minutes, 
and items uh, can and do auto extend for two minutes if they're bid on in that in that last little uh, last little patch. So good luck with your bidding, and uh, hope to see you here.